What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And I get a lot of questions asking what kind of camera or mic that I use. So I decided I'd make a little series where I talk about all of the equipment I use to make my YouTube videos. And today we're gonna be starting off with video. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. And all right guys, I just wanna start off by saying you won't need the level of equipment that you see in these videos to start your own YouTube channel, but this is what I've required over time to reach a certain level of quality. But with that said, let's talk about the most important part of video making, the camera. I use the Sony FS7 and it is a beast of a camera. I've invested in one of these when I was making my jump to 4K and it records 4K internally all the way up to 60 frames per second and it can even shoot 1080p at 180 frames per second for some super buttery smooth slow motion. It produces some amazing image quality. Shout out to Team Crispy. And it gives me more than enough room to mess with my clips when it comes to color correcting or any other post-production. It's a little bit on the larger side, but it is made for running gun. You can throw it up on your shoulder and use that extended arm control to kind of get a good stabilized shot out of it. And so far, I'm loving the FS7. It's everything I've wanted in a camera, and I'm very pleased. Now, you might have noticed the giant monitor attached to my FS7, and that is the Atomos Shogun. It's an external 4K recorder that allows you to record in 4K to an SSD. Now, that's actually one of the biggest reasons I use it. 4K can take up a ton of space, and being able to strap it onto a one terabyte SSD makes running out of space a non-existent issue. Not to mention, it's an awesome giant display with tons of great tools to help me see what I'm recording super clearly. And of course, with a camera like the FS7, you've gotta have some decent lens options. I keep around a Sony 16 to 70 millimeter constant F4 zoom lens, so I can get those really sharp and close up shots of products, as well as a Rokinon 24 millimeter F1.5 prime cinema lens, which is a dope lens with a manual aperture ring. And shout out to John from TLD for putting me onto that lens. And my absolute favorite lens of all time, the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter constant F1.8 lens. Whew. I used to rock this guy with my Canon T4i as well as my Canon 70D, and I've been in love ever since. It's got really nice sharp images and it's got ton of bokeh, not as much as that Rokinon, but it is amazing and it's super sharp, so I am in love with that lens. Highly recommend it. And for those of you who watch the vlogs and always ask what I'm recording with, I use the Sony RX100 Mark III. And this is an amazing little pocket camera with some crazy image quality. Now, I'm not sure if it's the best camera for vlogging due to some pretty slow autofocus during video, but it's been working out pretty well for me. And you guys seem to really like the 60 frames per second we typically shoot them in. One of the major selling points for me with this camera was the swivel screen, so I can make sure I was in focus while recording. And some of you have seen my articulating arm and pistol grip combination, uh, pretty much a homemade selfie stick for my vlog, but hey, do it for the vlog. And this is what I pretty much use to get my uh, vlog images. But that's pretty much the hardware side of what I use to capture video. But now let's talk about some of the stuff that I use to actually edit. I'm on the Final Cut Pro 10 bandwagon, and it's one of the first real video editing softwares I've used, besides Windows Movie Maker. Ugh. But it's been a great experience for me so far, and it was actually really, really simple to pick up. It didn't have a crazy learning curve. Ari picked it up also, so it's actually really nice and simple, while it still offers a ton of great tools. I haven't found any tools missing from it to accomplish what I needed for all of my videos, so I've been very content with it. Now, you're not gonna get anything crazy from it like Adobe After Effects, but I've never needed to stray away from Final Cut Pro. It's been a very smooth experience, and that's where I do all my video editing. Super simple, even good for beginners. Now, I know a lot of you watching who wanna make video are wondering, how do I make my videos look better or seem more professional? Well, if you haven't heard of Graphic Stock, it's definitely somewhere you wanna start. They offer unlimited downloads from a library of over 250,000 graphics, and that includes high-res vectors, infographics, and tons more. These little visuals can enhance your videos and really help them stand out. So check the link down below in the description to take advantage of a free trial and get access to Graphic Stock's entire library. Start off with some free graphics? Sounds good to me. <laughs> but that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So today we started off with the video side of things. Next time we'll jump into audio and accessories. And if you guys want to see anything else, leave a comment down below. But till the next video, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.